Packing for uni without forgetting anything can be a very long-winded task. So in today's video, I'll be providing you with the only complete guide and checklist for university packing. This video is gonna be split into seven sections. The first section is going to be stationery and lecture supplies. The second section is going to be bedroom items and general items. The third section is going to be kitchen and cooking utensils. The fourth section is going to be bathroom and toiletries. The fifth section is going to be clothes. The sixth section is going to be documents. And the final section is a checklist of things to make sure you've done before arriving at uni. So let's go through our first section of the video, stationery and lecture supplies. Now I'm gonna go through the list of items. If there's anything you want to add or remove, feel free to do so as your list may turn out slightly different. So in this section, we have the following items. Black pens, blue pens, pencils, sharpener, scissors, highlighters, colored pens, permanent marker, calculator, rulers, rubbers, post-it notes, flashcards, paper clips, elastic bands, glues, staple gun, staples, staple remover, hole punch, bulldog clips, sticky labels, small and large, pins for the pin board, sellotape, sellotape holder, A4 punch pockets, math set, a printer, if you decide to bring one, as some students prefer not to, but a few students like myself decide to, therefore you also want to have printer paper and ink, laptop, laptop case, charger, external hard drive, which I strongly recommend you bring to back up your work, USB sticks, mobile, mobile charger and lead, portable charger, student diary, stationary holder, pen pop, in chase stroke out tray, expanding folders, plastic folders, notebook, display book, any previous books that might be useful but don't bring too many as most of the time you won't use them, water bottle, a reusable flask and a plug stroke socket adapter for any international students. Next section is going to be bedroom and general items and for this section we have the following items. A duvet depending on your bed size and season, so either a single or double duvet for either the winter or summer season. Duvet colours, pillowcases, sheets, pillows, a v-shaped pillow is optional if you find that comfier. A pillow protector, this is optional, so it's basically just a protective cover for your pillows. The university at my uni and at most unis should supply a mattress protector, but it's not always the best, so you might want to consider buying a softer one. Alarm clock, wallet, so for your cash and debit card, you want to have both of those. A desk mini fan, if potentially it gets really hot in the summer, so if we have another heat wave, you might want to consider that in the summer months. A desk lamp, if there's not already one provided in your room. A TV or tablet is an optional, I decided to take a tablet but some people chose to take a TV instead. Masks, hairdryer, earplugs, sm a small bin, duster cloth, headphones stroke earphones, a speaker, power strip stroke socket extension lead, so that's basically just a four-way power socket adapter, and a massage gun or foam roller. If you play lots of sport, you might want to consider having one of those. A medicine storage box if you take medication. Optional, you might want to consider bringing maybe an aux lead adapter to connect your phone to an aux lead if you need one ever or a HDMI cable if you have one, if you wanted to connect your laptop to the TV, for instance, or a USB to HDMI mini lead, if you want to connect your phone or tablet to a TV. A doorstop, a card holder for your ID card, or you can just use your wallet, or you can put it in your phone case. And if you're not already provided with a lanyard during freshers, then I recommend you bring in a lanyard or a key ring for your keys to avoid losing them. Also, you might want to consider a small bit of entertainment, whether it be something like playing cards or a handheld console, or perhaps ping pong balls, something like beer pong, for any games during pre's or perhaps a football for instance and a pump or other things if you have a different hobby like a musical instrument a basic toolkit if you wanted to pack it just for a few basic simple quick fixes so you might want to just pack a hammer and a multi-ended universal screwdriver and perhaps a measuring tape if you wanted to quickly fix something or put batteries in something also if there's any decorations that you're after then you might want to consider getting some uv strips or some fairy lights or a tapestry for example. For the kitchen and cooking utensils, we have the following items. Kitchen scales, measuring jug, baking trays, can stroke tin opener, a baking dish, plates and bowls. You only really need one or two as space is quite limited. You might wanna have a dinner plate and a side plate for instance. Mugs and glasses, you only need one or two as again, space is quite limited. Cutlery, sharp knives, so that should be a bread knife and a sharp knife should do you right. Kitchen scissors, cereal container or peg to put cereal in. Tea cloths, Dish cloths, I recommend dish cloths over sponges as sponges store bacteria, whereas a dish cloth you can put it in the wash. Kitchen surface spray, a glass bowl for the microwave, measuring spoons, wooden spoon, a solid spoon, tongs, spatula, chopping board, spoon rest to put a spoon on so it doesn't go on the worktop and burn the worktop, a dishing up spoon stroke scoop, placemats possibly if you need them, probably won't, so maybe pack one or two. 
drink mats, a bottle opener with a corkscrew, potato masher if you use that, food bags, bin bags, a fruit bowl, kitchen roll, water bottles, kitchen foil, cling films, protein shaker, microwave pots, pegs, worktop protector, apron, oven gloves, a sieve stroke colander, a whisk, a peeler, grater, pizza cutter if you use that, an egg poacher if you like to have eggs like that, a slotted spoon if you have one you might want to consider, plastic food containers, insulated food bag as you can put an ice pack into this to keep things cold if you're out for the day for instance and have food on you, shopping bags that you can reuse, washing up liquid to wash around things, it's your best bet probably as unlike other products it is multi-purpose and won't cause any damage if it's not washed away properly, J cloths, pots and pans, so the ones that I brought for pots and pans was I brought two saucepans with me and a pot for something like curry or stir fry if I ever wanted to cook that as an option or if you use a pan for cooking you might want to consider taking that instead and you might want to take something extra like a sandwich toaster or a smoothie blender if that's something that you like to have quite often. Also it's normally a good idea to pack a few items of food that might be either harder to get from the shops or particularly for your first week so you've got some food prepared. So this might be things like protein powder, oats, sauces, spices, salt and pepper, seasoning, long life milk, microwave rice and vegetable stroke cooking oil. Also for the first week you might want to just pre-pack one or two certain things so you've got a few meals that you already know what to cook for in advance without having to think about what you're going to go out and get. So it can be simple as something like packing a fajita pack and then just going to the shop and grabbing a packet of meat or whatever product you use. So if you're a vegetarian then you might use corn instead and just a couple of veg, put it all in the pot, cook it up and then put that in with a fajita pack and you're all sorted. Same thing could be done with a stir fry, it's a matter of just putting it all in the pan, except if you don't have any tortillas or fajitas, whatever you use. And another alternative is say something like avocados with egg on toast. A few couple of simple meals you might want to just think about before you go to uni, just for that first week and the first few days before going to the shops for the first time, so you're all sorted and got food. Moving on to the next section, we have bathroom items and toiletries. First up for the bathroom items, we have the following. First aid kit, so you want to include in that plasters, paracetamol, bite cream, thermometer, strep sores, emodium for anti-diarrhea, deep heat patches after sport, an ice pack for example, and any other stuff if you feel that's necessary. An over the door aero is really good for storage space, a washing basket stroke laundry basket, a pop up laundry bin, bath towel, floor towel, I recommend probably going for a darker one as the floors can get quite dirty after a while. Suction pads with hooks, this is another really good storage option. Hand towels, small magnifier stroke shaving mirror as an option, washing up liquid if you want to wash around your bathroom, as washing up liquid is multi-purpose and it won't cause any damage if it's not washed away properly, unlike other products. If you're going to use washing up liquid, make sure you use one for the bathroom and a separate one for the kitchen, as you don't want them to be cross-contaminating. A dishcloth stroke microfiber cloth, as unlike sponges, a dishcloth you can put in the wash, whereas a sponge will store that bacteria on it. And again, like with the washing up liquid, make sure if you're using that, you want to have one for the bathroom and a separate one for the kitchen. Toilet wipes, toilet brush, toilet cleaner, hand wash, washing liquid for clothes, so one for dark and one for lights, a clothes softener and clothes stain remover. And for the toiletries, we have the following items. Razor, razor blades, shaving gel, toilet rolls, tissues, deodorants, toothpicks, condoms, shampoo, conditioner, scrub stroke body wash, hand sanitizer, retainer tablets if you wear retainers, toothpaste, toothbrushes, you want to pack a spare one in case you get ill, hair product, any makeup if you wear it, hairbrush if you use one, moisturizer, sunblock in the summer and after sun, cotton bods, tweezers, nail cutters, nail file, soap, flannels, pseudo cream, mouthwash, contact lenses and a contact lens case if you wear contacts, lip balm, mouth freshener stroke breath freshener, insect repellent in the summer, cologne if you wear it, anti bat wipes, a foot file if you use that and a body shaver if you use that instead of a razor or if you just trim your body hair. Moving on to the clothes section of the video we have the following items. Day clothes, so these can be things like joggers, jeans, hoodies, jumpers, t-shirts, just a few pieces that you can wear on a day to day basis. Nightwear, underwear, socks, smart clothes or a suit or dress for any formals, so this could be for example for freshers, ball, winter ball, summer ball. Nights out clothes, so e.g. when you go and club in, fancy dress, Halloween costume, or you can get this when you're at university. It's probably a good idea to pack a piece of clothing that you're able to get ruined, as for example at our uni we have a colour dash, obviously it's going to get covered in paint. Gloves and hat if it's getting cold in the winter. Swim stuff, for example at our uni there's a pool and spin bag if you're going to make use of that. A coat, a raincoat, or you can just use one coat, it's up to you. Footwear, this is really important, I recommend you having slides, as this is so important, especially when you're living in halls a pair of everyday trainers, smart shoes and a pair for clubbing that you can afford to get absolutely ruined, gym gear and sports gear, a watch stroke jewellery if you wear anything like that regularly, an umbrella, 
glasses if they're required, sunglasses in the summer, a belt, bags or a rucksack, a bum bag, which I found to be quite handy, for example, if I wanted to go out for a run and I wanted something small to put my stuff in, or again, you can just use it for fancy dress. A steamer, as sometimes the irons provided aren't always amazing, so you might want to consider getting a steamer if it's easier or if someone else is using the iron. And coat hangers to put your clothes on. And when you're packing for university, you might want to consider using cable ties to wrap around these, to tie them together, to be able to store them easier in a more compact manner. And then when you arrive at university, you can cut these off using either cable snips or you can improvise with a sharp pair of scissors. Next up is documents. And I stored my documents in an expanding file folder, which I mentioned at the start of the video within the stationery section. And these were the following documents that I took with me to university. Passport, passport photocopy, show copy of passport, driving license, C card, medical card, repeat prescriptions if that's applicable to you, uni correspondence including acceptance letter, student loan correspondence, accommodation contract, vaccination history, bank account details for payment and national insurance number. Finally, as a quick checklist of stuff to do before you arrive at university, this is the following. Set up a student bank account so you can also get a debit card, Sign up for any point strike loyalty cards to save lots of money. Make sure you're using student discount on any sites through things like uni days. Register with your university's medical centre, if applicable, or your local GP. Get a C card. Retrieve your IT credentials. Join the relevant social media groups for your university in your course. Get your vaccinations. The recommended ones are your COVID vaccinations and the MEN ACWY. And if applicable, sort any disability or health related requirements with your university. Also in the description box below, I'll put a link to my university's freshers checklist which I found really useful and most of the information is available and applicable to most other students at different universities. So I'll put that below if you want to check that out for a second source of information. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below as it's always fantastic to hear back from you. If you have enjoyed today's video and found it useful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on to be notified when the next video comes out. That's all from me. Wishing you guys all the best and I'll see you very soon.